Now, face masks are now part of our everyday lives. And over the past several months, there's been discussion of what kind of face mask can best give us the protection that we're looking for. But with the pandemic dragging on, advocates also stress the need to choose more environment-friendly face masks and personal protective equipment. Now, there's one material that's known to do the job, and yes, that's abaca fiber. Now, joining us to tell us more is Dr. Remedios Abgona. She's the chief of the Fiber Utilization Technology Division of the Philippine Fiber Industry Development Authority. Good morning, Ma'am Remy. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Paula, and good morning to our viewers. Ma'am, there's been a growing demand on Abaca face masks. Please tell us what are the advantages in terms of protection that it gives and also the, the balance that it has in terms of being a very environment-friendly material. Actually, the face mask that we are using now in the country, there are two types, mm -hmm. the medical and non-medical face masks. So the medical face masks are those that we use as surgical masks ano, by the healthcare professionals. And the non-medical face masks are those that are cloth-based or fiber-based materials, just like abaca. So abaca face masks are now being produced uh, by our local organizations. Mm -hmm. And this abaca face mask could, uh, sabi nga nila, it's seven times better than the ordinary cloth mask. And this, uh, abac because of it could protect and it could also uh, has a better filtration as tested by DOST Region 10. And of course, since we are looking for, we would like to take care of our environment, the Abaca face mask is environment friendly because it is biodegradable. And in terms of economics, uh, well, the, bi the our Abaca face masks are also considered washable, just like cloth masks. Yun nga lang, we should take her in washing them. Uh, we can use it several times. Unlike the surgical face mask, uh, we throw them right away or singly. So economically, uh, we can say that it is still uh, practical to use our abaca face mask since we can also uh, patronize our local raw material base. Okay. Ma'am Remy, if I can jump in. Uh, recently, we've had a spate of uh, typhoons and storms that have affected, uh, you know, areas and uh, regions where abaca is primarily produced. Do you think this will come into uh, play in terms of um, supply and in terms of the costing? Um, you, you mentioned it, it is uh, quite an economical choice because you can reuse it. Uh, but in terms of uh, cost of materials and maybe the scarcity or, or how plentiful the material will be, uh, is that a, a consideration at this point? Yes. Uh Ma'am Remy, are you there? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Please continue. Yes, it is really disheartening that uh, uh, the, the uh, ty super typhoon directly hit Katandoanes, which supplies percent of our global ano, production ano, ng the whole Philippines. Since we supply 85% of the world demand for apaka, mm -hmm. And uh, as per as pegged by DA Philippine this year, so ibig sabihin the, there will be a reduction to around fifty thousand metric tons, and ang average po natin ng production is seventy thousand metric tons yearly. So it will be a very big uh, drawback on the part of our export. As, uh, as abaca is globally exported. Okay, well, very interesting options there. Like you said, uh, it's a great option. It's um, just as, or can be, studies have shown that it can be just as effective, and it's also a much more environmentally friendly option there. We want to say thank you to Dr. Remendios Abgona from the Philippine Fiber Industry Development Authority for sharing with us the latest development in that department. Ma'am, thank you. Uh -huh.